cities and neighborhoods. They celebrated together after Pennsylvania was projected for Biden and the results in the race were finally called. Minnesotans also have a lot to say about the decision. Our Mariel Mo spoke with Democrats and Republicans to get their reaction. Throughout Minneapolis, at busy intersections, Every time a car goes by and, honks, it intersects. and Riverside Park, people were celebrating the announcement of a newly elected leader. Yes. We were biking by Gold Medal Park, and some people uh, invited us over for a socially distanced uh, champagne toast, yeah. and so we joined them and <laughs> yeah. celebrated with some random strangers, and it was a lot of yeah. fun. Gold Medal Park had pockets of people picnicking and celebrating the election results of a Biden-Harris win. It's like four years of anxiety have washed over. I am feeling like um, overwhelmed with emotion. Robin Curran was yeah. there drinking champagne with her three daughters. For them, they were celebrating history being made. So excited that um, we have our first woman vice president. Next time it'll be a woman president. Jude Edling thinks this election is the beginning of a new normal. Having a woman as a president or leader of com a country is normal around the world and has been for many years. Uh, and I think that we will be, you know, normalizing it from both sides. Over at the state capitol, a group of President Trump supporters gathered on the green. USA! USA! There's serious reason to be concerned that this was not an honest election. Jane Kane says their purpose was to argue the legitimacy of a Biden-Harris win. Mary Craycraft questions the mail-in absentee ballots that arrived after Election Day in battleground states. There's no mathematical way that 96 to 100 percent of all the mail-in votes that came after midnight on election night could have gone for Joe Biden. The group made their way from the Capitol to the governor's mansion, chanting for a recount. We want to know who really has won. If he hasn't, that's fine. But they need to do some kind of reform of the vote process. We have to be allowing everybody to speak and then let the chips fall where they may. In St. Paul, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News.